<sighs> Sup, nerd? Oh, hey, dude. What's got your undies all up in a bunch? I'm just editing this video and I really hate how the audio is coming out. Why don't you just tell them about today's sponsor? Today's sponsor? Yeah, the first ever sponsor of this channel and this video, Toner. Toner is a budget-friendly USB microphone with their TC30. I used to use other USB microphones in the past, but this one is really a step above for half the price sometimes. It's plug and play, so you don't need an additional driver. Plug it in and you're good to go. It's got a cardioid pickup pattern, allowing it to capture more natural sound and suppress unwanted background noise. The shock mount can effectively reduce the noise caused by the mouse, keyboard, radiator, or touch of the microphone. It's even compatible with Macs, PCs, you can even use it on your PlayStation. It's definitely one of the best budget microphones. It makes a huge difference in my audio recordings. In fact, I'm using it right now. Check the link in my description for more information on where to buy this awesome USB microphone from Toner. And thanks Toner again for sponsoring today's video. What's up guys, Matt back again with another unboxing video and today we are doing the Master Stars piece, Aaron Yeager from Attack on Titan. But before we get into the figure guys, please remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ring that bell notification so that way you get notified whenever I upload a brand new video. Like the video if you enjoy it and of course comment your thoughts down below in the comment section so that we can have a discussion on this figure after the review. So Attack on Titan is... It is peak fiction. I know, <laughs> I know it's a meme. Um, I've read the manga. Of course, I'm week to week on, on the anime. Um, the fourth season is probably my favorite. Attack on Titan is just one of those shows where it just gets better and better and better as you go on, in my opinion. And uh, it is definitely my second favorite anime. Um, Dragon Ball is always going to be my favorite, no matter what. Um, but this Attack on Titan is incredible. Um, and when I saw that they had Master Stars piece uh, figures of Aaron and Levi, um, I really needed to pick at least one of them up. I wanted to check out Aaron because he looked pretty good. Um, season 4 Aaron after the time skip is probably my, my favorite iteration of him with his long hair and stuff. That... Hi! <laughs> but um, uh, I, I really uh, love Aaron. Aaron's my favorite character in the entire show. So I was really looking forward to this figure, hoping that it lives up to my standards and figures. And of course there is a reissue of this coming out soon. Um, so I'll make sure to talk about that within the review and leave links and such so that you guys have an opportunity to also get this figure. I know uh, Dragon Ball figures are the more popular pick on my channel, um, but I want to have some variety. So I'm hoping that we can you know, enjoy some, uh, some variety on this channel outside of just Dragon Ball. Um, but without further ado, let's take a look at the box. Uh, we'll give some background on the figure and then uh, some size comparisons and of course our final thoughts and a rating at the end out of 7 Dragon Balls. Let's go. The main character and one who will eradicate all titans, Eren Yeager. Eren is my favorite character from this critically acclaimed series, but I am aware of how the fanbase may be a little mixed on him. I personally love the growth and direction this character takes, but don't worry, we won't dive into spoilers in this video. I am excited to review this figure nonetheless. Will it be as good as the anime? Let's find out.
This figure is based on Aaron Yeager during the first season of Attack on Titan. His pose seems heavily based on this promotional art of him. Master Star's piece is one of the series produced by Band Presto to go along their strategy of making very high quality figures. It involves male characters from successful Japanese franchises like Dragon Ball, Naruto, or One Piece. These figures are almost exclusively seen within Ichiban Kuji releases, but typically have overseas releases alongside them. Attack on Titan currently has two figures within Master Star's piece, Aaron Yeager and Levi Ackerman. This figure was released in Japan on May 21st, 2015, and will see a reissue release overseas sometime in March or April of 2022. There are no variations of this figure. I bought this for $30 on Amazon. Links are in the description. This figure is made of PVC and ABS. He stands at about 10 inches tall. A great size for a figure. This figure comes in nine pieces. His head, upper body, lower body with four pegs to attach on him, his cloak, and support for his feet. He cannot stand without the support, but it matches with the anime's aesthetic and isn't too space consuming. I was really pleased with how this figure came out. His likeness is perfect. They truly captured Eren's motivated look on his face and even added Isayama's artistic style in his eyes with the accents on the edges. That is some great attention to detail. Paint and shading are great. Most of the shading can be seen around Aaron's coat, which is fine because that's how I plan to display him. I do also see very subtle shading all over and noticeably on his boots, which also have a little more of a glossy finish on them. Size and scaling is great too. I unfortunately don't have other characters from the show to compare him to, but I am hoping Levi is a shorty compared to Aaron when I eventually get this figure. The sculpt is done very well too. I do notice that his feet don't go completely down after attaching to the support, but it's a minor gripe since it works so well. I also love the fact that you can change out his coat to on or off depending on your preference, and you can even see his bootstraps hanging off with a little more of a stringy substance. Overall, I am extremely happy that my first Attack on Titan figure turned out this way. Eren looks like his anime counterpart was sculpted and painted professionally and even went the extra mile by giving us interchangeable parts. This is a must have for any fan of the series. I'm giving this one 7 out of 7 Titans. Thanks again for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. Like the video if you enjoy it and please let me know your thoughts down below and if you have any recommendations for Attack on Titan figures. Attack on Titan is my second favorite anime so I would love to add more high quality figures like this one to my collection. Until next time guys, later.